if your partner says no let me sort out everything so be it hallelujah bravo but like i said earlier there's no standard formula or there's no standard allocation that the woman takes care of decor makeup and the man takes care of music dj no and decor was actually one of the aspects that came to me like what that's how much we pay for decor like i was shocked <laughs> i was shocked you know so about having a white wedding um let's see okay <laughs> hi guys happy new year and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Naku Alute and you are most welcome to my youtube channel however I would really do appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family if you are a returning viewer or if you are already subscribed thank you so much for coming back I do appreciate your support in today's video I'm going to be answering all of your questions relating to planning a wedding here in Ghana so after i posted my previous videos on planning my traditional marriage as well as the occasion itself i've had a lot of questions from you guys and so i put it up on my instagram story as well as on my youtube community tab for you guys to ask me anything at all you want to know about planning a wedding here in ghana and i've received numerous questions from you guys questions relating to cost budget vendors and a whole lot so in today's video i'm going to be answering all of these questions so if this sounds like something you are interested in then don't go anywhere stick and stay till the end of this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button okay guys so if you continuously see me looking down it's because i'm reading the questions from my phone so that's the reason why i keep looking down so first of all one of the most common questions i received had to do with um, vendors a lot of you kept asking who did this which vendor did that so first of all i'm going to be giving you the entire list of all the vendors i used for my traditional marriage however bear in mind this is not a sponsored video none of these vendors have sponsored this video i'm doing this out of my own will okay so um i'll start off with my kente for my kente itself i got it from perfect kente for my kente gown it was made by sadia sanusi for my second outfit or my reception dress it was made by evolve by eve for my makeup makeup was done by faceville beauty for my decor decor was by arabel creatives for my accessories i got my accessories from wendell's um, accessories she also has another page called um, bridal accessories by wendell's and she gave everything to me for free like i mentioned in my planning video i got everything gifted to me by wendell's accessories and for my wig my wig was also done by harry tree and she also did it for me for free however for the installation and styling of the wig it was done by blush with tea for photography and videography it was by girl photography um for my fan the bridal fan it was by blackish bridal fans for my favors i used three different vendors the first one is shea by chanel she made my shea butter and she gifted me some amazing stuff um, the second one is accessorized by Jay. She made the wooden fans and she also gifted me some really, really nice stuff. And the third one is Favors for You GA. She also made my customized face towels. Um, yeah, so these are the three vendors I used for my Favors. And for my bridal party or my bridesmaids, for their first outfit, the lace, the fabric was from That's Vogue and for their second outfit which is the reception dress the fabric was from agape looks and fast forward made their reception dresses for my husband's outfit it was made by royalty by nanase as well as that of his groomsmen royalty by nanase made all of those outfits and for our cake it was made by cake is at bakery so these are all the vendors i used for my traditional marriage so now to the second most common question a lot of you kept asking me how long did it take for me to plan my traditional marriage so this is the thing yeah our traditional marriage was actually supposed to happen in June so let's just say I used 
six months or a little over six months i say so because it was supposed to happen in june so i started contacting vendors like very early part of the year then this whole corona covid wahala shows up and we had to put everything on hold because we were not certain if it was still going to happen in june like there was so much uncertainty and we were in lockdown there were a lot of restrictions so i had to like sort of hold communication with um, all of the vendors then i had to go back to them from where we left off when lockdown was over and because there were like restrictions as to the number of people who can attend an event and the whole anxiety about covid like it was a whole lot like there was so much uncertainty so i had to just hold on till everything was a bit calm then we finally decided on a date then i went back into talking to the vendors again so i would say it took me roughly about okay so months. this person yeah. says please what is the average cost of your kente traditional dress okay guys so this is the thing here yeah? i'm going to keep it very real and open with you guys because i want to give you guys all the tea like i want you guys to know what's up you know so for your kente outfit or for your kente gown i would say most people don't um go below a thousand ghana cities so if for anything give yourself a minimum of a um, thousand ghana cities however it depends on how you want your kente outfit so some people will want the kente outfit just like that without any detailing so for that you can budget around a thousand thousand two hundred thousand three hundred maximum a thousand five hundred if you want detailing so like they have categories so some people would want to have um just beading some people would want to have um just the corset some people would want to have both um beading and corset so yeah those are the categories so yeah for kente with um beading details i'll say your minimum budget should be around thousand three hundred or let's say thousand five hundred and for um, beading with corset so they have something they call crystal beading um that was what i did though so for kente with um crystal beading and corset let's say your minimum budget should be around two thousand however for where i did mine the minimum for crystal beading and corset um was 2500 however it depends on how you want it and all of that so it doesn't necessarily mean um, if you want crystal beading and corset it's standard that it would be 2500 it could go like way above that depending on how you want it to be done so like the stats the starting point is the 2500 um, i believe that you would find like other vendors who would like charge around 2000 that's what i'm saying a minimum should be about 2000 ghana cities so that's that's how you should budget so roughly a kente outfit could range from like a thousand ghana cities to let's say three thousand because I, I really don't know the highest it could go but then let's say a thousand to three thousand depending on how you want your kente to be done either you want it like a plain kente outfit or you want it with detailing beading corset and all of those stuff so yeah that should be like a perfect range between a thousand ghana cities and three thousand ghana cities averagely averagely because i don't know what like other people will charge like i really can't tell so yeah okay so the next question says did your bridesmaids do their own hair dresses and shoes or you did them for for them okay so i had 14 ladies following me yeah and the truth is i didn't want to bother anyone with um, so much cost and all of that because charlie corona and all of that there was a lot going on so it's not now that you're coming to bother anyone with cost to do this do that so the initial plan was um for them to wear just one outfit um put on the ghillie then um for the reception they take the ghillie off but then in the same outfit however i made them aware i was going to change into a second outfit for the reception so i threw it to them if they would also want to change because i didn't want to impose it on anyone because that is like an extra cost and they decided that they would also want to change so for their dresses they took care of it themselves for the fabric and then the sewing of the dresses they took care of it themselves however for three of them i took care of everything for them because it was my little sister and two um 
two of my little cousins aside that i took care of the gilly for all 14 of them and i also took care of the bridal robes the one we wore to dress up um yeah so aside aside these two aspects that i took care of they took care of every other thing themselves yeah okay so this other question says what advice would you give someone who is about to start planning hairs okay so first of all i would say don't wait till last minute start planning way ahead of time um start booking whichever vendors you want to use way ahead of time because bear in mind day in day out people are getting married day in day out people are planning their marriages so if you are not quick enough to book whichever vendor you really want to use on your big day by the time you'll be ready to go book that vendor you would hear i'm already booked the second thing is know what you want or have a fair idea of how you want your big day to look like have a fair idea of how you want your occasion to look like i know that there might be instances where you would be torn between this and that like there might be a little bit of confusion which i did have but you should know what you want like you, you should know what you want so that when you are going to contact a vendor you know that oh this is what i want this is how i want my occasion to look like this is it this is it it's not that you are confused like you don't know what you want yourself like i don't think it's a good thing you know so have a fair idea of what you want and make sure you start planning way ahead of time because trust me the whole planning process comes with a lot of stress even though we try as much as possible to cut down on the stress and all of that by making sure you are doing what is supposed to be done and all of that there are certain things that you really can't see coming and when they hit you like there's nothing you can do about it so it's, it's better you put yourself in the position to sort of cut down on stress so that when those things that you didn't see coming come your way at least it wouldn't add up to the stress you are facing already okay so this other question says did you set a budget <laughs> frankly speaking i did not so i didn't set a budget however i had a fair idea of um how much i was going to spend on certain areas say makeup uh yeah makeup um photography sort of i didn't know how much decor was going to cost and decor was actually one of the aspects that came to me like what that's how much we pay for decor like i was shocked <laughs> I was shocked you know so yeah I I didn't really have a budget I have to be very sincere I didn't I didn't have a budget to be fair but I I sort of had an idea on how much I was going to spend on certain areas or a range for how much um, certain areas was going to cost um, I didn't really speak to a lot of people concerning the planning process to to ask how much the Dior's cost and all of that. That's how come I didn't have a budget. Because I didn't have a fair idea of how much some of the aspects were going to cost. However, I would advise that if you are about planning yours or if you are planning yours, do speak to a couple of people who have had this, if possible. Find out from them, like about two or three people, to give you like a fair range or a reasonable range on how much certain aspects of your ceremony is going to cost you i believe that would be like a great way to to start drawing your budget it will help you to know that oh for decor it could range between this and that and this is how much i am willing to spend um for makeup it could range between this and this and this is how much i'm willing to spend and that will help you to come up with um a budget for your wedding I believe that would be helpful. <laughs> Don't be like me. So another question that was very, very, very common is if I'm going to have a wild wedding. This other person even said, if yes, then I beg, invite me. <laughs> so about having a wild wedding, um, let's see. Okay. <laughs> So... <laughs> 